Hello, and welcome to OptiSigns. My name is Garrett, and today I will be showing you how to set up OptiSigns on your BrightSign player. BrightSign is a leader in commercial grade digital signage and fully supports integration with OptiSigns. In just a few minutes, you will be controlling the content for your BrightSign player. So let's get started. Some quick notes before we begin. You will need a micro SD card to program your BrightSign player. Here I have my BrightSign player already connected to my display. It is an XT5. If you are using a different model, do not worry. You will still be following the same prompts. Before moving on to the next steps, make sure your BrightSign player has power, has internet connection, is connected to your screen with an HDMI cord and that your display is powered on. Your screen should look similar to mine. Now, there are two different routes you can use to program OptiSigns onto your BrightSign player. The first route is recommended by BrightSigns and utilizes their Bright Author software. The second route is through standalone mode. I will cover this option at the end of the video. First, we need to use our computer to access Bright Author. You will need to download the proper Bright Author software onto your computer. We have a link in the description for you to view and find the right software for you to download. Once you have Bright Author downloaded, open the app and log in to your BSN Cloud account. Do this by clicking on Connect to BSN Cloud. If you do not have an account yet, go ahead and create one now. After logging in, click the drop down next to admin and select set up. This is where you will really see the perks of using Bright Author. You have access to all these different features that are only on Bright Author, such as downloading the latest BrightSign OS versions. Anyways, go ahead and fill in the player settings to your desire. This will not affect the install. Customization is all optional, but we highly recommend you select the right time zone. Then we are going to click on Partner App and select Partner App. Locate and select OptiSigns as your partner application. Now we will save setup and save it on our micro SD card. Now, before you do this, make sure your SD card is completely cleared of files and folders. We recommend that you reformat your SD card to ensure there's no hidden files left on the card. We need this SD card completely clean. Once you have formatted the SD card, save those setup files onto it. Eject the SD card from your computer and insert it directly into the BrightSign player. It will take a few minutes for your BrightSign player to download these setup files. It also will be rebooting itself multiple times. So don't be alarmed if you see your screen turning on and off or if your screen may seem frozen. Just be patient, it's downloading the files. After a few reboots, a pairing code will show on your screen. You are now able to pair your BrightSign player to your OptiSigns account and start controlling the content for your screen. Now I will show you the second alternative route to get OptiSigns up and running on your BrightSign player. Standalone mode follows the same steps that we just covered, except we are not going to be utilizing Bright Author. On your computer, instead of going to Bright Author, you'll navigate to our BrightSign Player support article and download the setup files provided on that page. We put the link in the description for you to easily navigate to this page. You'll scroll down a little ways and click here to download the setup files. Just like before, we're going to save these setup files onto our micro SD card, eject it from our computer, and insert it into our BrightSign player. Again, after a few reboots, a pairing code will show on your screen, allowing you to connect your BrightSign player to your OptiSigns account. Now you can control your screen's content through OptiSigns.
And there it is, simple as that. I hope this tutorial has helped you with connecting OptiSigns to your BrightSign player. If you have any questions or issues, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to help and enhance your OptiSigns experience. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.